This is the title of my exhibition is Cathedral Hermetique. And here behind you see two photographs that are part of a series of five on the wall that goes further. And there are uh, six more images, three on the terrace outside of this uh, little room where we are, and three that are dispatched in the room. Um, well, I hope there will be some uh, shots that are going to show you the full installation. I'm very happy of the installation that the curator Fanny Esculen uh, developed for, for this uh, Havre, or not. And um, so I'm going to tell you sh very shortly about this project. Uh, this is uh, here behind me, you see two photographs of the Cathedral de Bourges. And at first sight, you might think that it's a church that someone photographed uh, a church in the shade and someone was outside the church photographing it. But actually not. It's the photograph of a book. So it's a photograph of a photograph. And this book was given to me, so the book has this, this size, huh? and it was given to me by a friend. Um, and as I was working on the uh, Cathedral, the, the painting series of Monet, Cathedral de Rouen, I had, uh, I thought, yeah, it's the right moment to take this book out of my library and put it on my table at the studio and have a feel to it and, you know, take it as a reference also or give some spirit to the moment. And then, so I was busy on the other work I was developing and then I, so I had opened the book just uh, like that and it fell into the, the middle spread. And if you look very well, well, you can't see it now, but uh, there you could see the stables as well of the book. And here clearly you can also see that something is written. And here is written the Bourges, it's the, the name of the cathedral. And then so I was doing my things, but then I, I noticed that the, the frame, the window frame, the shadow was, um, yeah, of course, uh, traveling across the image with the time. Ah, nothing new, but. Even though it, this feeling each time I was turning my head and seeing that the, the shadow had made a little jump like a swing. And uh, so like a witness of, of the time that has passed, had passed, but I didn't, I didn't even notice the time uh, had passed. Or, I don't know, it, it was a bit, it gave me a very deep feeling of peace. And, and then uh, because it was so uh, very serene and very, um, such a, such a, yeah, a, a moment of uh, deep calm. And I think I enjoyed the rhythm, I enjoyed the, the regularity of it. And then I um, decided that actually the thing that I should focus right now is in documenting that process. So I started photograph this book uh, with the traveling shadows across the image. And I did that uh, over and over again uh, until I got the sequence that um, made me feel like the first time I saw it happening. And in the end, it's a series of 126 images. So what you see here is that, because uh, I was in front of it, so here you see a given moment, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's uh, 32 minutes from the start, and this one will be one minute and 10 or something like that. So and now you, you will have a clear jump. Um, but the total work, the body of work of this series is in total 126 photographs. Of, uh, that I each took every minute. But actually what I like is when, that when you look at it and you just don't know, uh, you think, was it over a day or a month? Or, and it, uh, I like it very much because I think it, it conveys this feeling of elasticity of uh, time. Um, sometimes time can be so short and sometimes uh, much too long or wonderfully long. <laughs> but this is actually a such an existential experience of time that I, I hope that the, the one I received when I saw this very simple uh, process taking place, that I, I hope that uh, this work can convey to the spectator.